Hello, everyone. I'm Yu. I'm in Hokkaido, and I'm at the Chitose Airport. We are going to visit Sapporo and Otaru for three days since it's a golden week this week. And I thought for this trip, I'm going to do something different. Usually, I do vlog style kind of videos when I go on trips. But I think this time, I'm going to try something different and show you 50 things to do in Hokkaido. Take the airport JR train to Sapporo. This is super convenient and way cheaper than taking a taxi. We arrived around dinner time, so we wanted to try lamb barbecue, also known as Jingisukan, which is a specialty of Hokkaido. Daruma is the most famous one, and they have three locations around the same area because there are just way too many people. I heard Daruma 6.4 has the shortest wait, so that's where we went. A few classic must-see spots in Sapporo include the former Hokkaido government office, which you can visit for free, and it has some small exhibitions and tourist information. The clock tower, which is the oldest building in Sapporo. Odori Park, which has many beautiful flowers and it's a popular picnic spot for local residents. And the TV tower, from which you can see a great view of Sapporo. I also love their mascot character Telebitosan, which means television daddy. All the main attractions are within walking distance, but you need to use the subway system to go to other places. I love that you can use your IC card from other areas of Japan. I use my PASMO card everywhere. Hokkaido is known for their food, so make sure to visit Shiroikoibito Factory, which makes one of the most popular cookies in Japan. You can see how these cookies are made here. Make sure to eat dessert at the cafe. It has an awesome view of the clock tower of the park, which has a 10 minute show every hour. You can also make or decorate your own cookies here. Sapporo Beer is super famous, so definitely visit the Sapporo Beer Museum. You can walk around the museum for free or take a tour for a fee. The tour is in Japanese, but you will have a chance to taste the original recipe of Sapporo Beer, which is really delicious. Definitely sample some beer here, they are reasonably priced too. I got some soft serve ice cream while waiting for dinner. Hokkaido is known for its dairy products. You can find soft serve everywhere and it's always super good. It's a good idea to eat dinner here, but make sure to make a reservation when you arrive and visit the museum while you wait. At the beer garden, make sure to try some crab dishes, since crab is another specialty of Hokkaido. The Sapporo JR Tower is only a short taxi ride from Sapporo Beer Museum, and here you can see the beautiful night view of Sapporo on the 38th floor observatory. The JR Tower has tons of shopping and food options, and it's located at Sapporo Station, which is the main station of the city. Another fun way to see the city is to go on the Ferris wheel on the roof of Norbesa Building. It's a great way to see the popular Suzukino District, also known as one of the biggest red light districts in Japan. It's definitely fun to see all the lights at nighttime, but this area is just as interesting during the day. About 30 minutes by train from Sapporo, Otaru is a small harbor city that's perfect for a day trip. Don't miss out on the beautiful view while you're on the train. Otaru has some of the best sushi restaurants. We went to the famous Masa Sushi. You can get donburi, which is seafood bowl here as well, which is another must-try food item of Hokkaido. When you're done eating, get some super sweet melon for dessert. 
Melons are probably the most famous fruits of Hokkaido. Go to wharf number three of Otaru Port to take a sightseeing cruise along the coast if you are here during spring and summer. This cruise can also take you to Otaru Aquarium, which is the biggest aquarium in Hokkaido. You can see many animals up close and don't miss the penguin walk. It's the cutest thing ever. Once you are done with the aquarium, head back to Otaru downtown and walk along the canal. It's especially pretty around sunset time. There are many shops on the main street of Otaru called Sakai Machi. Make sure to check out the special Otaru glassware. There are so many shops selling all kinds of things from kitchenware to jewelry. You can even make your own in some stores. Another special item Otaru is known for is music box. There are tons of shops selling all kinds of music boxes. Definitely a great souvenir to bring home. Don't forget to grab some chocolates and cheesecake at Le Tao, a famous chocolate store in Hokkaido. I highly recommend their fresh grape chocolate. They wrap your chocolates with ice packs so they can stay fresh. If you go to Otaru, make sure to try fried chicken at Naruto. Their fried half chicken is the best. After taking the train back to Sapporo, you will want to do some shopping. There are so many options in JR Station. Don't forget to get limited Rulakuma goods at Paseo Mall. If you have time, you can walk through the underground walkway from Sapporo Station all the way to Suzukino. There are some exhibitions and shops around, and we got delicious donuts for dessert. If you're in the mood for some good coffee and toast, head to Miyakoshiya. It's a classic cafe in Hokkaido and best known for their grilled cheese toast. This cafe is next to the famous Maruyama Park, which is especially crowded during this time of the year since it's cherry blossom season. You can enjoy some relaxing time here, take some great photos, and have a picnic like the locals. Then walk to the nearby Maruyama Zoo, which is the oldest zoo in Hokkaido. Make sure to see polar bears when you are here since they are the most popular among all the animals at this zoo. You might also want to visit a farm close to Sapporo since Hokkaido is so famous for its animal products. Some even lets you milk cows which would be a very unique experience. Even if you can't, make sure to at least try lots of dairy products here because they are so fresh and delicious. I picked Ekorin Village because it's close to the airport and has alpacas. You can pet them and take photos or even make your own alpaca with real wool. Don't miss the sheep show or the sheep race. It's the cutest thing ever. Save some time to spend at Chitose Airport because there's so much to do here. Have fun at the Doraemon Park and you can buy lots of Doraemon merchandise here. You can also find any specialty food of Hokkaido you haven't gotten a chance to try. I definitely recommend checking out Ramen Dojo. This hall has several famous ramen restaurants. Make sure to get the miso butter corn ramen. Each area of Japan has their own special version of ramen, and Hokkaido's is probably one of my favorites. I also recommend you buying all your souvenirs at the airport. The selection is amazing and they even have a fresh seafood market. It also saves you space so you don't have to carry it around while you are visiting. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and let me know in the comment section below if you prefer this format more or the vlog type videos I did before. 
I always leave lots of useful information in the description box below, so don't forget to check it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more from me in the future, and I will see you next time. Bye!